try and uh, get my OBT to feed. Um, I did see its legs um, just by its little hole there. You can see its, uh, its hole's got a little bit bigger actually since uh, the last time you guys saw it. Um, I'm going to sort of tempt. Hopefully, her out. We're going to put in another cricket. Great, got that one. Uh, it's a shame uh, didn't come out fully, but uh, we'll leave that cricket in there, and uh, I'll keep persevering to try and get uh, this uh, girl on film more. But as you can see, she's pretty happy in there. Uh, made a nice little burrow, and uh, might breed her in the summer. Uh, not summer, New Year. Um, but yeah, do I want loads of uh, little <laughs> bundles of joy? Fluffy bundles, orange bundles of joy, but uh, we'll see. Right, on to the next. He polka plays uh, sling wants a small cricket, but um, I doubt it because uh, I think it's pre malt. But you never know. Maybe not pre malt. Oh dear. Oh, yeah. Got it. So there's my little G, first G Procopase. Let's try the other. They're very similar in size. Um, you could barely sort of tell the difference between the two, actually. So very similar growth rate for both of my slings. Um, although I think one's slightly um, fatter than the other. Just. But we'll see if it wants a cricket. Yeah, so there you go, they can just have the one cricket and then I'll leave them a good week and see if they want another and then I think they'll be pre-malt so uh, yeah I think they might stay for another malt in here before I put them into a, a bigger tub so probably New Year, well we'll see how it goes If um, a little fatty here wants a cricket I'm guessing it's pre-malt Due to the size of the abdomen, but uh, let's uh, let's check. Gonna have to be quicker than that, sweepy. Completely lost the cricket now. Oh, it's. I don't know, where's it gone? Oh, there it is in the corner. And, ooh. Juice. Yuck. <laughs> but yeah, so this one's looking gorgeous. Next malt, I'm going to really try and find out the sex. Obviously, if it is a. Um, no, obviously, if it isn't anything. <laughs> obviously, if it's a male. Um, Oh dear, but um, yeah, on to the next. Right, there's another little um, fatty here, but um, yeah, it's probably their, a lot of them, probably their last feed before um, going into pre malt. Do, do, do. Don't like to drop it near the water dish actually. Wee pounced. But yeah, my pea cancerides. Nom noms. Looking gorgeous. Yep, fingers crossed it's a girl. On to the next. Right, this is my Phobus Murinus and uh as you can see it's a pretty amazing um thing it's done with its moss and the substrate. 
I've got a super here as a a nice sort of treat. Could be its last feed before molt. Alright, I don't want to lose this worm. I can see its legs. Oh, shit. Whoa, cool. So as you can see, it's um, spectacular looking. Um, yeah, I think actually just as good looking as the blue fang. Um, and I know there's another Phobus actually, which um, I think I'll get at some point. I do like the species. Um, can be a bit pet holy, but this one is coming out a bit more. So um, yeah, on to the next. The only true spider in my collection, uh, Acanthogonathus pissy. And uh, it's looking pretty amazing. Um, no idea what the sex is actually, so I must try and sex the next mole. You probably guessed that by <laughs> times I've said it in the vids that <laughs> my sexing hasn't been a, a complete success, to say the least. I mean, uh, I think I've probably sexed only a couple um, so far. But I get there in the end, so... Um, must uh, try sort of to do it as um, soon as I can really uh, but I've still got a few which um, you know they're small lifts so I've got a couple of malts to to practice on coming up now this one should have a cricket oh maybe not hmm Or maybe. Hmm. No, no. I might just leave this in as pre-killed, but um, it's looking quite leggy. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to start looking and see if there's any information on regards to how what size these get for. Um, they're either male or female. I'm gonna see if I can see some hooks now. So, uh, but yeah, it's looking stunning, stunning. Sorry, I can't speak. On to the next. Just a quick video. Um, my T Sturmy's out and about. So, uh, yeah, just an update show you the size. Got a little sort of bald spot on the abdomen. I'm just going to replace the water. You can see once it a bit moisture, uh, a bit, uh, a bit moisture, I think. That's why she's been in the water dish and, you know, made that patch all uh, wet. So, add a bit more. Uh, water and uh, yeah, try to f try to feed her in a week or so. Um, but she's looking as though she could be in pre -mold. So yeah, thanks for watching. On to the next. Right, this is my king baboon, who hopefully should have a worm. Um, there is already a worm in there, but as um, this tea has molted recently, I'm not too worried about the worm. But I will keep an eye out for it. Um, but obviously I want to show you guys him eating, or her eating. So I've got a small one here, there's a bigger worm in there. And can't really see much from the top here. I mean, sorry, from the side. But we might... Yep. So there you go. There's the beast in his or her lair. Nom noms. Yeah, it's a bit, a uh, bit of a sort of um, you can't really sort of see in very well. But yeah, it's my king baboon. 
And, uh, yeah, if I can... I have a think about sort of perhaps getting this into a sort of custom-made sort of a, a clear, a, a, a acrylic enclosure, because then you'll be able to see better through the sides. Um, but, yeah, it's doing well. And I think that's pretty much the best I can probably do for the... Ooh. But, yeah, it's... Um, Enjoying the fact that it's got a bit more substrate, I think. Anyway, on to the next. So here's my lovely male, and uh, hopefully this time I have a worm. He's off uh, next Wednesday um, because the temperature's going up uh, to about 11 degrees, so I'm happy to send him. So this should be his last feed before he goes off um, on his adventure. I don't think the uh, female... Uh, is ready yet but uh, anyway let's hopefully he'll have a worm no I think that's a no. No, doesn't want it. So just an update, and I thought I'd show you his lovely colours. Very leggy. Um, there he is. Right, finish off the vid. Hopefully I'll get my um, PCAMs to feed. I've got a nice worm here if I can uh, catch it. Just going to move this over slightly. Oops. I'll catch this worm. It's not a very big worm but Yep, definitely hungry. So thanks for watching.